Nice. Nice. Welcome to my channel. In this session, we are going to see how we can track our data changes using Entity Framework Core and ASP.NET Core 6.0. In our previous session, we saw how to implement in-memory database and how to migrate the in-memory database to SQL Server. So I have already created two video session, implement in-memory database and migrate in-memory database to SQL Server. I will give the link of these two video session in the video description. Please check it out. And I strongly recommend to going before this, this session, please check it out these two sessions. So in our previous sessions, we created this in-memory database and migrated to SQL Server to this particular DB. So and this is our table. So here product table. In product table, we can see column, keys, constraint, trigger, index, statistics, right? Now we need to add some code in our database context to make our table temporal or make a history table. For that, go to our database context file. Here we can write like this protected override on model creating model builder i am passing model builder model builder dot entity product data model this one two table in passing name equal to products same as this one product table equal to product table each temporal so this each temporal will create a temporary table or a history table let's see now we have added our code Let's go to our package management console, update, create a migration for this now. So now before creating a migration, so you can see there are two files in my migration um, folder. So now I'm going to add a migration. So add dash migration. So I'm giving temporal data one press enter do have to stop okay let's run okay build succeed now update the database so update hyphen database press enter migration applied so you can see now in the solution explorer one more file created temporal data one and if you go to sql server and if you refresh the table here nothing happening let's run the application and see what is happening run the application it will take few seconds The application got run uh, refresh the database tables upon it so you can see one more dbo product history right so let's see what is there in our history so first see let's put in our main table products so desktop, Windows 10, mouse. In the product history, if you right click and if you edit top 1000 row, so nothing is there, let's post some record. So already we have record for desktop, Windows and mouse. So let's post a record for try it out. Product name is antivirus and category is software should be 2000 it got posted so let's come to here execute so you can see antivirus got posted here so 
nothing in our prior history. So let's create a update API and we will see how it is working. So let's go to our prior controller. Here I am doing HTTP post which is a update. Now I am putting HTTP put and I am giving put product. Okay. In the product model itself, I need to add a GUID which will be like public GUID. I am giving ID. Right. So let's go to controller. Now in this section, so I am giving here product. bar product equal to dbcontest dot product dot where equal to obj dot id select so equal to equal obj dot id fast or default next is we don't need of this now it will be update right and it will be save so it is put product now run the application so we have a get product list so let's try it out Okay, and this is the antivirus we just added. Let's take this GUID and go to the put API. So, this is the put API. Try it out. I am putting my GUID or GUID here for the antivirus. So, let's say I am keeping it MS Office, and this will be software, and this will be 3000 execute. So it got saved. Okay, now see, go to our product table. So our antivirus got updated here, but let's go to our history data and we'll see it got added. Right? Let update same record again. So, so I am updating MS Office, so I'm keeping here keyboard. hardware and here I am giving 200 the price execute let's see so it got updated here and for history table it got updated here also so here it is adding one more record and two extra column is adding which is shadow column actually or shadow properties that is period start and period end from from this time to this time this data is present in the table right so this is a temporal table or history table we are storing in the SQL server to keep the track of the data. So how to get the data, the temporal table data. So this is our get. So I am adding one more API. And get product history or history. Right. So here I am I will be adding so here I am adding temporal all okay db context product does temporal all I'm going to add a using statement control dot using entity from our core right so it will return the temporal all data. There are temporal between, temporal all, and temporal range also. So run the application. We have an API called get prod history. We have a get prod history here. Try it out. Okay. 
एग्जीक्यूट यू कैन सी दीज आर द हिस्ट्री दीज आर कमिंग इन कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ द टेबल हिस्टोरी टेबल एंड द मेन टेबल राइट सो इन दिस वे वी कैन ट्रैक द डाटा चेंजेस इन आवर डॉट नेट कोर एप्लीकेशन इन एंटिटी फ्रेमवर्क गाइज टू क्रिएट ए मीनिंगफुल वीडियो इट रिक्वायर लॉट्स ऑफ एफर्ट इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियो गिव मी ए लाइक and share this video with your friends thank you very much